Hello, everybody. Hello, guys and girls. We're back for a little bit of a little episode at the minute. And the reason why is, as you can see from the Howard's background, he, he is not in his usual place at the minute. He is actually hot countries evading the law as we speak in, yes. <laughs> in Korea. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit of a 10, 15 minute video of this one, only a short one, just to talk about Korea. We might as well use what we have available. Uh, ask Howard some questions. He can explain why he's I, I, there. I like how I like how that is. No, we don't care. It's just, you know, he's available and it's a subject. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, pretty I, much. We wouldn't yeah, use the word. My life is boring, so he has to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I only caught the last bit of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, doing a little bit of paperwork, hopefully meeting up with a couple of bands whilst I'm here, trying to sort out some, uh, maybe doing some interviews and stuff. But, yeah, just taking a little bit of a uh, career. And it's, uh, I've been to Korea quite a few times, for anyone doesn't know. Um, so it's night time here, unfortunately, so there's not really much to show you, but I do have a beautiful view of the very lit up beach. Nice. I have a bed <gasps> big, big enough for me and the person who isn't here. Oh, moving yes. up in the world. He has a bed. <laughs> he has a bed. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't want to gloat or anything, but you know. So he, he, I mean, kind of he, nice. <laughs> he is actually kind of nice. I quite like it. It's a shame it's, it's like pitch black outside. It would be pretty cool to see like around the place and all that. But maybe we could do that. Maybe we could have like a one off little mini episode while you're there, where you walk us around uh, Korea. Just like maybe I'll do that. Maybe, yeah. maybe I will add that on the end of this. Maybe. Hell yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Who knows? There's a lot of maybes in, 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 in this week. <laughs> Hello everyone. As promised, here I am outside in Korea. And I was going to show you this beautiful beach that was here last night before I checked into my hotel over there. Um, but, you know, not only is nature beautiful in Korea, but it also is very changeable because the beach ran right up until here, but now the water's gone out and it's this weird, rocky wasteland. So um, I'm going to go over there. Because I've only got one pair of shoes for this journey, and I can't imagine anything better than getting them full of wet sand. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of all rock and sludge. Add more rock. Not entirely sure what I was expecting. Back to the mainland. For this is the domain of the cousins of Hato. We were down just over that ledge there, but over here, I really kind of like this. It seems in a way kind of desolate, but I think there's something kind of beautiful about this sort of scene. And this is very, this is very Korea for me. I think sometimes people miss this when you go to places like Seoul. I mean, Seoul is not that far from the sea, but it's not right on the sea. Um, I'm in Incheon near to the airport, which is basically like the city that's connected to Seoul without, you know, seamlessly, but is actually by the sea. And um, I'm on an island, I should point out as well. But it's just a very beautiful coastal country, but in a, in a different way. It's not one of those sort of, well, for the best part, it's not sort of like sandy Philippine-style beaches. It's much more rustic and real. I always said that I find Korea to be quite a relaxing place to go. You know, you've got this, you've got the mountain tops. It's a very chilled out place. Sorry, I was just videoing and I just realized Um, yeah, it's, I guess it's not surprising that it's not switching on. Um, yeah, this is uh, very sandy, as you can see. It seems to be damaged. I don't know if it's just washed up. And like, someone's actually put it here. Like, if I return it to the hotel, how am I supposed to know that that's where they stayed? It's broken anyway, and I don't know where the police are around here. Maybe someone will remember it. Bye-bye, potential evidence in a criminal case. Ah, relaxing career.
Are you are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh. What? Why? Why? I don't even want to touch that. God, I hope I'm not getting like anthrax or something. Oh, I think this computer might actually be better than mine. Oh god, it is. Um... Thank you for your service. Uh... I'm not exactly going to say that this one fills me with a huge amount of hope. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh my God. I mean, let's be clear. These have been arranged very neatly along the side of the road. What is going on? I hope your eventual discovery leads to the su successful conviction of somebody. Um, Korea. Great place to relax. I think my best guess has got to be that when the tide goes out, they probably just like local fishermen and stuff find all kinds of stuff lying on the sand that's exposed, and they must find laptops. But three laptops in such a small space like that, it's just like really... Oh yeah, it's the Hulk, by the way. Three laptops in such a, like a close vicinity to each other. What is going on? Who's just tossing laptops in there? Or who's just, maybe someone's falling asleep on the beach with their laptop, but if that's happening, where's the body? Bye, beach. You're weird. Beautiful, but weird. So another one of my favorite little Korean things is that Korea's got loads of these little tiny mountains and they always have these little pathways that you can walk through. So this will be like in the middle of the city, especially cities like Busan, which I mentioned earlier. It's got like loads of little mountains in the middle of the city. And, um, you know, you just sort of like see these mountains full of trees, very natural. And you just go for a walk straight through on a little path that's set up. Um, and, you know, it's another way that, you know, Korean people like their exercise. You probably know that a lot of, uh, I think pretty much all young men have to go through military service. So uh, it's a country that considers keeping fit fairly high in priority. And little things like this, you know, it's kind of funny because sometimes you'll be walking through a place like this and you'll be like me. Well, I'm, obviously I do a lot of walking as you guys know from when I didn't have anywhere to stay. Uh, and um, you know, so I'm not, <laughs> not particularly unfit, but I'm also not exactly an athlete. And you'll be walking through here and then like an 80 year old Korean woman, He's like half your size will just go da, 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 straight past you and she's just having a nice Sunday walk. Yeah, but I think these little pathways, it's very indicative of, um, it's a big part of the Korean culture in the same way that in London and many cities we have our parks, Korea has its tiny little mountains. And of course, with any form of mountain or elevation comes a view. Okay, I'm going to be honest, this next bit I didn't quite expect. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it wobbles. Oh my god, does it wobble. Oh, and I'm not even at the middle yet. I'm going to put the phone away because, frankly, this is weirding me out. <laughs> it's not exactly the work of Kingdom Brunel, but it's not meant to be. Yeah, that is so cool. I really like this, and you know, it's not. You can just walk around. They didn't need to make this. They made it because it's cool. And on we go. And it's worth pointing out at this moment that I didn't like, I didn't research this in advance and go to find cool places. Literally all I did this morning was when checkout time came, I had some time to kill before the shuttle bus arrived, two hours, and I just walked out the hotel, walked across the street and had a little walk around. And it's not even like I'm staying in an expensive hotel in a classy area. I just stayed in the cheapest hotel that I could get with my booking.com leftover points. And furthermore, 
this hotel, this whole location, is on the airport island. And this is what I would say about anyone, if you're going to visit a place, if you're going to explore, I know some people take this advice already, but I just say this for everyone. Yeah, of course, go visit the famous places, do some sightseeing. There's a reason why places are famous. There's a reason why some places are known around the world. But also, give yourself a couple of days, wherever you are, just to have a walk around. You know, just take in some of the place. Because as I said, places like this, they're not super uncommon in Korea. And it's the sort of thing where I think if you're just sightseeing, you can really miss this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. And this, this is true across Asia. Pretty much everywhere I've been, this applies. Just go out and enjoy it because there's a lot of cool stuff around. What the hell is in the trees? <laughs> I think it was high speed little old ladies coming to overtake me. But don't worry, I found their one nemesis. Stairs. <laughs> okay, back to the hotel to await my shuttle bus, which I think is already there. I then headed into the capital city of Seoul, where I got the opportunity to interview Ye Won from Rum Kicks. But if you want to see that interview, you're going to have to go and subscribe to my other main channel, Backer Broadcast, where the full interview will be published. And that is what we call an advert. Back to the studio. So you, you were talking about some bands, going to see some bands. Who are you, who are you gonna, who are you gonna see while you're there? I, I haven't booked in to see any gigs or anything, but um, we've been talking to a couple of bands. We've one of them obviously being Rum Kicks, who's come up before. Uh, I know obviously you've seen Rum Kicks live in the UK, and they've uh, they do a lot more in the UK than uh, So uh, we've kind of, I was in, uh, I was in um, Tokyo at the same time as before. We didn't manage to get a a. a, a, a time sorted out for an interview then i was in nagoya at the same time as them didn't manage to get a time sorted out for an interview and it was just kind of there was so much chaos going on with the band but it seems they've now settled on their new three member lineup yeah hopefully this one hopefully this one will um be the the one um and so, so there was a possibility actually of meeting today but it was so insanely difficult to get to this hotel that yeah. it was just i was like and there was like a, it was the uh, the national election day today. So everyone was voting, which is kind of like a national holiday. So like transport and everything was really effective. So I couldn't, couldn't see her today, but um, maybe I'll see her in the next two days that I'm here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, but either way, I'm just going to take in a little bit of the uh, fun of being in uh, in Korea, which is, it, it's a really, really interesting place. You know, so many things are quite similar to Japan, but it's always little, it's always little nuances and differences that, like, small like what? Things. Because that's kind of what I wanted to ask you. A lot of the things you get here, they're like I said, they're, they're similar things, but there's obviously each country has its own take. And um, so, for example, you have like gimbap, I think it's called, which is basically what we call onigiri. It's on a correct way on that in uh, Japan. But onigiri is like nice. You get a little rice ball in the um, the like seaweed, basically, and you eat into it, and all different kinds of different flavors inside. You pick the one you want. Cool. Um, <laughs> this is a, my reading of Korean is pretty basic. And I remember the first time I bought one of those in Korea, I was like, oh, okay, it's got picture of pig. Oh, it's, like, it's a pork one. Cool, I'll get a pork one. <laughs> Bit into it and my face nearly exploded and burnt off. It's like, why would you put that much spice inside a rice ball? And I looked at it, it was like, pork shouldn't be bright red. Um, <laughs> but it's because Korean people are just much stronger with spices. I mean, I just look like this sad little crying boy. <laughs> spice will hurt me while the Korean people will pass us. Like, hey, it was once down. living with a Mexican and like we, he had a sauce. I what put two drops on my rice. It was really hot. And he was like using it like ketchup. Oh, damn. No problem. It's like it's like being it's like being an alcoholic. Is once you once you once you're too numb to it, it's like all yeah. you're doing is spending more money to achieve the same from the rest of us. Oh, they 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 totally looked at you and went, "Hey, we're going to pick up the little yeah. white boy." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they looked at me and they were like, "Ah, oh, beginner." <laughs> <laughs> he needs a little bit. Of I knew you color. were. I knew you were foreign, but this is pathetic. <laughs> Maybe pick stands for ultra hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they have, uh, I mean, there's actually there's some really great food here. But, um, a lot of time, yeah, it's it's you, you have to know your food. Like Korean barbecue, that's going to Korean barbecue is insane, and it's delicious. And they just bring you loads of the stuff. And cook it, bring it. I've gone to Korean barbecue with some Korean friends before, and yeah, they knew the places, but it's like it seems like every Korean barbecue place is really good, and they kind of all over. Um, Plus the currency on purpose, really... like making me hungry before I have to leave. I know, I know. <laughs> like even I'm like, Ooh. Uh, all Korean right. Korean barbecue. So usually I wouldn't ask this question, but obviously you've been in Korea uh, 
a fair few times now you spent obviously some time tied up. So what is it like? What's the difference between like obviously the everyday of kind of like walking on the streets? Do you see like for like like the music industry and stuff like that? Is it as prominent over there as it is over here? Because obviously we know obviously know from all the way over here the scale of like K-pop and stuff like that. Is that sure. as prominent there, like just in daily life? I mean, obviously it's important to point out before I say this, that obviously Korea has a lot of other cultural things that you notice when you're here that we don't see abroad. So it's not like K-pop is everything, but yeah. obviously I'm, I'm getting out of the way because obviously it's important to say that first of all. But I mean, it is still true that if you are um, aware of K-pop, then yeah, it, it is. I mean, the K-pop celebrities, they appear to be the biggest celebrities. They're on adverts everywhere here. You know? um, they're, you know, they're on adverts in Japan as well, but um, in the West, I'm sure. But um, you get loads of adverts with K-pop stars on them. You know, every single time you go to buy something like a packaged food in the Korean like uh, convenience stores, there'll always be the one which is like endorsed by this K-pop artist <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> And, you know, okay. same as in Japan, you have, like, Anna on a carton of milk. That happened. Um, and she, so she wasn't lost somewhere. Uh, and so, <laughs> the, you know, the, um, the the they are huge here. And, of course, everywhere you go, the music you hear playing through the radio, a lot like in Japan, you hear J-pop. But you also hear a lot of Western music in Japan. Here it's almost exclusively you hear K-pop everywhere you go. And um, I respect that. You know, they really... they. They love their stars. They really take them on board. And um, um, yeah, I think it is, it, it's really had a massive um, it, it effect in that it is part of daily life. You can't go out without noticing it. You will see it. You will hear it. You will feel it. Um, admittedly, if you don't Do you know, know what it is. Don't. Do you know if these artists like are featured in like popular mainstream media, like we have in like anime in Japan? Well, like, I've got the, I've got the TV on movies. right piece. Yeah. I've got a TV on Zeptal? right now to light no, my effect. Um, the, the, the only reason I'm not turning it is because I'm bet we'll get a copyright strike if I do. But um, the funny thing is, is that I, uh, as far as I can tell, yeah, I mean, this is one where I wouldn't really know because I don't understand the language enough to read it and I watch TV, but I've yeah. read a lot of things on my Discord from people saying about, you know, there's like loads of TV shows where capable artists turn up. Again, same as in Japan. Is There's really interesting comparison in that um, homegrown pop in both countries is treated with a lot of love um i think the difference is is in in japan there's a little bit of the western and the japanese together whereas in korea it seems to be pretty much all k-pop yeah. um, well, that was going to be my next question actually uh is like is it what do they listen to outside of of, of k-pop like i mean you can check our episode where we check out three uh, korean artists oh <laughs> segway, segway into that. he really is vying for your position here <laughs> yeah. he's vying for yours he's gonna bring the money while i'm here <laughs> get the views while the real stars in the room um so <laughs> the, the thing is is that like um yeah the 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 amount of like k-pop here is uh, sorry you were asking about like the, the yeah like what you? yeah like you yeah. said that oh you Japan. said what they listen to outside yeah. sorry um because because that's what um, i was going to get that's what i was going to lead on to the next question I, I, the, see the problem is is i don't listen to, to enough western pop to know if i would necessarily recognize if a western pop song was playing yeah. Like if a Western pop song came on the radio here, I don't know if I would necessarily notice. And there are some K-pop songs where they got really good English. But I would say as a general, I don't hear much where I think, oh, that's in English. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the time I'm hearing songs that are in Korean. Uh, so I, I wouldn't even really know. I, I would find it hard to put a handle on what would even be popular. I, I do think that because K-pop obviously has more... I don't want to sort of say like I'm being demeaning, but because it has more in common with Western pop, it's easier for them to listen to it as a replacement to Western pop. So, well, you know, the Westerners are listening mm -hmm. to K-pop as well because it it feel, scratches that itch. Yeah. You know? So why would they listen to Western pop when they've already got K-pop? Yeah. You know? Um, and it's in their language. Uh, whereas with mm. uh, Japan, J-pop I think is so fundamentally different from Western pop that they kind of have to balance the two because they scratch yeah. very different itches. Um. Yeah, so I think I think that's probably the reason why. But yeah, Korea is mainly Korean yeah. music, and it's everywhere. So, and so what? Time. So what are the like main things that are like completely different? That's like oh, I, Korea. I, so I, what, what, what's that? What, I, what's that one thing that you you you've been there and gone? Holy fuck! I didn't realize that. Or that's completely different from anywhere else. I know we haven't got long in this video, but I'm going to quickly have one thing. But last time I was here, I was walking along the beach, and there was some nice music just gently playing, and it was like 
gentle piano music and I suddenly realized it was a slow piano rendition of a twice song I was like that is epic um so what, what's what's the difference that I most um, yeah, what what's something that's completely out there that, that that really kind of like took it by surprise with Korea? Is there any is there anything that even if it could be like the simplest? I don't know if I want to say. Um, I, I'm going to say. See, it. see, see, yeah, see if you don't want, yeah, if you don't want to say, that means you have to say it. <laughs> um, this was coming back years ago. I remember I was staying in an Airbnb here, and I was staying on quite a high floor, and I had this beautiful view over the skyline of the local area. And this was in Busan, and so I. I put a, a video camera on the roof and I left it as a time lapse to film a lot of time lapse of the sunset. And of course, all the lights go up over the top of the city. And it was when I watched it back that I suddenly realized, you know, you couldn't see the wood for the trees, just how many of those lights were crosses. I was like, there's bloody churches everywhere. Like, this, con this country okay. is really Christian. Uh, really? That, like, that, oh, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that Korea, actually Korea is very I think Christian. they're pretty. Con conservative also right because um, i think i heard for example yeah. being tattooed that tattoos are illegal in korea i, well, I don't i, I don't think ooh, they're illegal know. but they're very frowned upon it's like actually actually illegal North but Korea. like yeah, nobody I, does anything if you have them yeah I, I i actually had that conversation with christmas who's the lead singer of uh, 18 fevers and uh she, ah. was she was telling me how she has to like literally her mom makes her like hide her tattoos and stuff like that even though she's like this lead singer of this big mm -hmm. band and stuff like that that you know it's still kind of frowned upon I, and she's i don't think that's fresh. I don't think that's a million miles different from Japan. I mean, obviously, you can't go into an onsen in Japan if you've got tattoos. Yeah, but I thought it was like, like more extreme, even. I think it probably is more extreme. I mean, which country is more conservative is difficult because it depends on what you mean by conservative. I would say that. Yeah, certain um, aspects. I would say that, yeah, K Korea seems to be, um, it seems to have this. Well, I think it has more of a Christian conservatism, which, of course, you know, I mean, I'm not going to get into the religious conversation, but I think it's yeah. well documented the fact that I am a, a a great shining beacon for the atheist world. But I do I do I do have respect for like how a lot of religious things can have their place. But ultimately, I'm an atheist and that's what I like things. Um, but so, you know, when I look at Christian conservatism, a lot of the time I find it more confusing and based on things that I find harder to understand or shall we say harder to reason. Um, so there <laughs> there are perhaps some of those elements, but then again, Japan can be very conservative about things as well. So right. um, I, I I'm gonna put I'm gonna on... put, I'm gonna put you under pressure here while we end this and I'm gonna I'm gonna ask okay. you last question. Uh, last, question. Uh, last question I'm gonna ask you to rattle off your five favorite things about Korea before we finish this video off. Quickly go. Nice one. Um all right um I'm gonna say uh, uh the food is different but i do like it um what right. not uh, women yes. um <laughs> they're different and i like them as well so should we throw the women in as well um def <laughs> definitely oh. natural the natural beauty um there's little small mountains the beaches it's a very naturally beautiful country which i, think oh, I still thought fabulous. you were talking about the women then all right okay natural beauty. yeah yeah me too <laughs> some of them are naturally beauty beautiful yeah it's like they're, 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 people are like women they're like they're, i'm sure <laughs> all going down um what else um i, I would say a sense that I mean the problem is a lot of things I really like about Korea are things I also like about Japan. So I'm not really differentiating between Japan. It's like differentiating more between Korea and the West. It's like generally the convenience of the place, the fact that you've got a lot of like really convenient things around and it kind of works. Um, and I would also say artistic identity. That's like the big one I wanted to keep for last is that they have their own artistic identity, whether you like K-pop or not, or things like that. Then you know they do have their own artistic identity and they're proud of it, which I think a lot of countries don't ever get to that point so yeah, yeah. it's great there are a lot of like culture cultural things going on you know like temples or like old buildings things like that there, there is there is um i'm not as familiar with a, a lot of it but definitely there's a lot of beautiful um historic stuff here as well um okay. but i know that they're very uh there's yeah the, the, the history is very uh, complicated and there's a lot of things in there so i'd say definitely it's one of those ones where you have to really spend your time diving into it and learning more because there's a lot mm. to learn korean history obviously yeah. it's very next week howard in north korea <laughs> wait <laughs> well that's <laughs> why you changed my ticket <laughs> I, I was gonna say if he's in north korea next I, then i'm gonna presume something's gone very very fucking wrong so <laughs> an interview with kim so I just next, it's like you two won't be on here. It'd just be me and Kim present ears to the east. 
<laughs> I mean, that's a hell of a guest. <laughs> nukes. It's called Nukes to the West. Then. Nukes to the West. Oh my God. <laughs> and on that bombshell, on today's one and only episode of Nukes to the West. <laughs> it's me and Kim. Yeah, it's hey, me Kim. It's hey, and Kim. Hey, Kim, when I said, do you want to do the outro? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Yeah, that yeah. wasn't a stop button. <laughs> well, okay, well, there you go, guys. There's a little bit of a tip okay. of information into career from Mr. Howard. Thank you for indulging us with that one. Uh, we really, yeah, really appreciate it. If you've got any more questions for Howard that we didn't cover here, again, we're yeah. just making this a little fun episode. Comment down below. I'm sure he'll get back and answer all your little questions and stuff like that. I, about I'm in. I'm in that perfect position where I've been in career enough that I can really sort of like give a, a lot of interesting viewpoints. But I'm also ignorant enough that if you're a person who lives in Korea or you're Korean, that you can like really add a lot of things, a lot of spaces to the things that I've maybe glossed over or given a very sort of. Uh, bare bones view of so i'm in that interesting middle ground where i'd be happy to hear from people on either side It'd be really cool so all right well we'll see you again in the latest episode of nukes to the west, west. west. Is next week. Yeah. Is the west.